Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. About uh, 2.15 this afternoon. It's like the clouds separated and the yeah. sun finally came out. It was nice. And the sun feels... Feels like it's April out there, especially when Feels you look like at the spring, grass yeah. and it's mushy and the snow's all gone. And it continues, uh, yeah. the, the warm weather, with only one exception, I think, on Sunday. I wanted to show you this cool video here sent in to us from Vermont Gen. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's a nice video of you the can see it, though. sap running. Yeah. Which, oh, yeah, uh, you can hear it. Ooh. Yeah, pretty yep. cool. Well, uh, not much snow on the ground there. Hopefully the uh, season continues as we move forward. Usually need a little snow. Anyways, the peak gusts we had today showed a couple of them a little while ago. This is a few different ones. Ticonderoga at 55, even Colchester at 48, Potsdam at 47. So super windy, but it helped that it wasn't really cold out there. This is a handful of power outages we saw too, especially in Vermont. Wanted to show you the storm tracker view in Chattagay right now, especially as we zoom in and see a few raindrops there in town along Monroe Street and Earlyville Road, but all very light. This is just a little moisture left over. We had one cold front go through today. There's actually another one that comes through tomorrow. Not really much with it, but it sends us into a colder pattern for one day on Sunday. So uh, the easy part of the forecast is that it's a very bright weekend, a lot of sunshine. Of course, the March sun feels stronger. It is stronger. The sun angles higher, but Sunday would be the colder day that we're talking about. But it's one day next week. The mild weather comes back. We have a lot of 50s in the forecast. How about this? This is the Plattsburgh camera. We're looking over Lake Champlain towards the Green Mountains there. Just a really cool view with the clouds and the blue sky in between. 47 is the number in the Lake City, but we still have a wind gust of 45 in Messina, 35 in Lebanon. And I think the wind will be blowing all night. A little less as we go forward, but still noticeable. It is 37 in Saranac Lake. That's why some of that leftover moisture could be a, a snowflake or two. The warm weather slowly getting pushed south, but it comes back after Sunday. It doesn't really go away for too long. Here's the sunshine as we go through tomorrow on Futurecast. Still a breeze too, so the quieter day will be the colder day, I think, on Sunday. Definitely spring conditions on the slopes this weekend, but full sunshine. The blue sky will be really nice on Sunday. And in terms of the temperature trend, there's the brief cool down on Sunday. Then we shoot right back up to 40 for Monday, 46 even on Tuesday of next week. So the highs tomorrow, we're still in the 40s for most of us. Couple of upper 30s like Montpelier, St. Jay, Saranac Lake. It's really Sunday when the highs in a lot of cases will struggle to get to the 30s. I mean, that 31 would be for the Champlain Valley with a lot of sun. Then as we go forward, St. Patrick's Day on Tuesday, it looks like there may be a little mountain snow, but mostly some rain, even, even then not significant amounts of rain on Tuesday, but just not as bright, kind of wet. Wednesday and Thursday would be dry, and then officially on the calendar, well, the first day of spring is Friday, if you want to think of the daylight hours. Looks like there'll be some more rain, but again, there could be some higher elevation snow. Either way, I don't think we're talking about significant snow any of these days as we move forward. Brian? All right.